we want you to work on the following sentences. You may complete them by using the correct form of keys and the words in the box. This time, you will do this exercise on your notebook and ask your teacher to check them for you. My computer is driving me crazy. Okay. The buttons on the remote control always stick. Okay. The UCD player often jumps to another song. Okay. Our new flat screen TV has a problem. Dick. Those old cell phones never work right anymore. They. Sometimes Ed can't use his solar power calculator. It. My computer screen needs to be Hey, Jose. It. The answering machine How are you? Good, and you? I'm fine. Thank you for us. Um, good day today. Yeah, thank God it was a really good day. And thank God it's Friday. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's nice to have a good and day. You? A really good day. Just a. Uh, hey, uh, you changed your look. I changed my look. Really right. <laughs> I decided today was a good day, Black Friday. I said, hey, it's a good day to change yeah. my look. Mm -hmm. La Black Friday. The famous yeah. Black Friday. The famous Black Friday, yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> yesterday that, was the, the night of the Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday was Thanksgiving, um, and then so today was the was the idea for Black Friday. Um, even though in El Salvador they don't have a lot of sales, a lot of you know big things, but some stores, yeah, oh. most most stores no, but some stores have a few a few things that they put on sale or things like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I I was I was um, looking at, at my Facebook and and yeah some some uh, some place got uh, good sales. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is pretty much the 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 we went out with the family, took a look at the different uh things for Black Friday, if there was something interesting going on, if not, and then we just, you know, enjoyed it, uh tried different things. Okay. Hey, right, so we got hey Leah, how are you? Hello, how are you? Doing good, good to hear that. How was your day? What'd you do today, Leah? Just work. <laughs> but uh, good. Okay. All right. Yeah. I was telling Jose I didn't have to work today. Today's Fridays are my day off normally. Oh. So, uh huh. Yeah. 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 Ooh. But hey, it's okay. It happens. Um, but normally I don't. So all morning I don't do anything. All afternoon I don't do anything. And usually in the evening I don't do anything. But <laughs> <laughs> Only rest. Only rest, but you know, spend time with the family. Um, you know, go out and get. Sometimes, especially Fridays, is usually the days that I have to go to do errands. If there's something necessary, like go to the bank or pay bills or or something like this, it's mm -hmm. usually usually on Friday. But in reality, it, no, not too much. Um, today, just a little bit of shopping. Um, there was a couple of things that were on sale. Um, so, not too many things. For the for the Black Friday. Yeah, 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 for the Black Friday. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> mm -hmm. So just uh, just buying a couple small things, not much, because to be honest, there, there aren't too many big sales. Like I, I went to one place um, and their shoes, the shoes was, uh, for example, 10% discount, the first shoe, 20% the second shoe, 30, uh, <laughs> yeah. 10%. So is, this is not discount, this is the normal price. The really sales uh, will be uh, on um, on Christmas Eve. Probably. You will see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So probably because when, the last year, um, I wait uh, to buy uh, some stuff and and, and I, I can't buy it and in, in in the Black Friday. But when I buy, uh, I buy it. In this and in December and in Christmas Eve, I really have a really good sale. Mm -hmm. This is the idea, because you I know, think it's much better. 
Mm -hmm. the, the money is not free like we, nobody gives us the money we have to work for it and especially now this year even more difficult right so the idea is for example for me i i told my wife minimum minimum it needs to be 40 percent off because if, if it's not if it's 10 percent, 20 percent, 15 this is not a sale it's not it's not a good value but if it has 40 or 50 or 60 percent okay then it's a good idea because normally you know the price normally the problem is the problem is that many people buy things and they don't know the price how much is the price normal so when they see the price and they say oh it's 50 percent maybe it's not 50 percent maybe the 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 product they increase the price and only reduce for the promotion mm -hmm. yeah exactly mm -hmm. all right Francisco, how are you? Hi, good night. I'm fine, thanks. You, how are you? Doing good, doing good. All right. So I see we got three people. Probably maybe that's going to be it <laughs> because it's Friday and, you know, people on Friday, especially Black Friday, I think some, some, <laughs> of, the, some of the classmates are probably out shopping or doing something like this, something, you know relaxing um so we're gonna take a look at and just start off first with any questions from yesterday yesterday we were looking at how to explain problems or talk about solutions for them remember the the key words were the words needs and keeps okay do you remember the difference when we use needs when do we use keeps when it keeps uh, you got to, to use the, the bus sentence and when you just um yeah mm -hmm. you got to uh, uh, use an infinitive okay right okay that's right that's right now this is specifically so for example we talk about i need right uh or, or that means this is the solution okay when we say keeps this means this is the problem now there was a little there was a little bit of, a, of an understanding for uh, or maybe uh, a problem because we can use in some situations we can use an infinitive or a gerund okay do you remember that yeah. okay so when do you remember when we use it for example in what situations do we use it with needs or with keeps mm, when you when you just need Correct. I remember we got to use and and, and, and order the, the sentence with the simple past. Okay. Right? Not the simple past, but for example, okay. So let's say we use needs and I and I say Ligia, okay? So Ligia needs, okay, and I don't use ing. I need to say with two. Okay, so Ligia needs to uh, fix the refrigerator. But if I have the same sentence and I put the refrigerator, okay, I can use ING. The refrigerator needs fixing. Okay, but if I put Ligia first, Ligia needs to fix the refrigerator. So this is the question, or sometimes maybe a little bit of confusion with the word needs. We use the infinitive needs to when we talk about the person. Francisco, Jose, Ligia, okay, need to connect at nine o'clock for the English class. We do not say they need connecting. No, they need to connect, okay? To connect. That's the solution, all right? Now, when we talk about a, a thing, for example, the car, or the car needs, okay, needs repairing the car needs inspecting the car or sorry the car needs it can oh if it happens to it is sorry it's going to be needs to be inspected okay as well in this case so the with the needs always you have to be a little bit more careful because you can use the two situations it's a little bit trickier because when we use um between the active and passive this is the main idea is active the person does the action okay so uh, Francisco needs to cut the grass. Francisco is doing the action, okay? But the grass receives the action. The grass needs, we use the ING, needs cutting. 
Now, uh, here, the, the, and it becomes just a little bit more information is because the grass, we can use the two forms that are correct. The grass needs to be cut and the grass, the grass needs cutting. The two forms are correct. But when I say Francisco, it's only one form that is correct. So when you use the person, okay, it's only one form that is correct. And that's the two. Francisco needs to the activity. Jose needs to, Ligia needs to, okay, whatever activity. But if it's the object, you can decide if you want first the ob, you first you want to use with Jaren, or if you want to use with two. Both forms would be correct. Okay. And it's the same uh, the same way when you use have. Or it's different when you have and you got to, to use I have or you need. Right, they're different. They're different. So when you use I need, is that um, you, it can be? I understand because you can use a have to, right? So it's have to mm -hmm. is like an obligation. So uh, I have to fix the refrigerator, or um, but we don't say the refrigerator have to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So when that, you have to talk about. That person. I Correct. Think. Only when you talk about the person. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ligia, Francisco, do you have any questions? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Yeah. I really, I really want to ask you if you can help me because uh, the exercise, the, fir the, the first exercise in the platform mm -hmm. really difficult to me. Okay. They're really difficult for me. The exercise one to one point two, and the exercise one point three. I didn't. I I didn't uh, make that because I I I I I don't understand what kind of word I, I I have a mistake. Okay, let's take a look. Hang on. Let me see if I share the screen. Okay, this is the 1.2, okay. okay? So yesterday we did part one, or, or sorry, we did number one and three, but um, the idea is that the, we are just putting in our answer. So um, in number one and two, it's necessary to put in the entire part. In numbers three, four, and five, I think, and six, it was only necessary the the answers but let's try it together so number two is could we have another water pitcher this one what did you think is the correct answer jose this one has uh, has late no because we're only using needs okay or, or well or keeps this one this one has no no, there's no has. Mm -mm. This one is leak. This one? It's leak. It's leaking. Or, mm. oh. Okay, this one. Remember, we're only using the words need or Keep. keeps. Okay, so this one keeps. I think it would be leaking. Leak. Leaking because. Uh, we, because but why it, with ing? This one, because it's not necessary to do. The, the water does not need to leak. It keeps uh, leaking. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me double check it. Let's see. No. This one keeps. Let me try without the period just to make sure. Okay. So then we're not going to be allowed to use needs or it keeps. Let's try, okay. With Neil. This one. Neil's. Or let me try it. Mm -hmm. It. Let me keeps leaking. Okay, let's try that one. 
I put no. only is leaking in, and that's correct. This one is leaking. Yeah, me too, without the subject. Okay. Uh, with the, is leaking in, period. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that that's why I was mentioning that in there are some of them that you need to put the complete one, for example, like number one, it has a stain. And then the other ones is not necessary. It only, you can only put the, whatever the answer is. Let's try number four together to make sure that we're clear, okay? The waiter needs a new t-shirt. This one, he's wearing tear. Okay. Keeps, keeps here, no. Probably not keeps because that, that means a repetitive action. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. This one. We can use the. The, we, the we'll one try. is wearing has, has tears or tear. Tear. Has a tear. Well, let's see which one is correct because there are, it can be just one has a tear. Exactly. That's it. Uh, okay. Mm hmm. I really confused the word tear uh, with, with tear. With, with, with crying, uh huh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. But I really identified that means tear. Uh, yes, oh, yes, it's like exactly. It's like with a piece of paper, you tear. Exactly. Okay. Let's take a look at number five. Could you bring me another cup of coffee? This cup? Oh, yeah, this cup. Is, is shipping is shipping? No. Right. No, not necessary. No ing. Sh just ship. Correct. Right. Is, or ship. Uh, is chipped. Pass. Yes. 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 It's chipped. Mm. Let's take a look. There we go. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's that, that, okay. right. Mm -hmm. Remember, the word that we're going to use is there in parentheses. So we have to use the word that the, they tell us. For example, the walls really need painting. And the ceiling, what happens with the ceiling? Has damage. Maybe not has. Or have. Mm, we'll try has, but okay, because it's singular, but it. I don't think it has. Uh huh. Leah? Is damage? Okay. Oh. Is. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, Jose, I think, I, really... I think the confusion you're having is between is and has. Is yeah. is with verbs. Is chipped. Is damaged. Is are uh, and has is with yeah, noun. And okay, and we use has or have. So, for example, in number three, do you see number three on the screen? It says has scratches, right? If I use the verb to be, I cannot use scratches. I have to use ed is scratched. Okay. Number four, the same. If I use tear as a verb, it, it is uh, torn, okay, in this case, past tense, okay? But if number five, okay. but if number five, if I want to use chip as a noun, then I have to put has. Has a chip, has a chip, okay? The same for, okay? And, and this is how you have to think about. So the, the idea for is or has, so has is going to be with nouns. And is is usually the adjectives, sorry. Okay. Okay. Pretty clear. And, okay. and thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So you say, you know, sure. yes, uh, Omi. And what happened with the EMG in the second is looking right, right there, number two. Yeah. Yes, very good. Thank you for asking. That was part of the exception that was here in this video that we there saw. There is some damage on right on the bottom. If you see, mm, their new aquarium is leaking. Yes, 
it has to do with the way that the word leak. So it's the exception is leaking. In leaking, we use the present continuous form. We don't use uh, another form. We don't use with ed or, um, you know, is leaked. Is We have to use with ing. Okay, it's the only word. Yes, 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 is the only is the only one. That's right. Okay, good. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And now, also, you said, uh, but one point three is is listening. So that one is okay. just yes. That one just listen and try to to get the right ones. Okay. Were there any other questions? Anybody else have any part of the platform that is not clear or, or any exercises? Not teacher yeah. for the moment only. Okay, great. So today we're going to go ahead and then and we're going to continue. The idea is we're going to be taking a look at electronic items and what can be wrong with electronic items. Okay, so first, what are some electronic items that you have around the house? Cell phone, computer, TV. Cell phone, computer, TV. Mm -hmm. PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. What else? What else do we have? What other electronic items do you have around the house? Refrigeration. That's right. I don't know That's how right. to say That's good. We would try. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Mm -hmm. That's right. Refrigerator. Um. Oh, um. Iron. An iron? Okay. A fan. A fan. Microwave. 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 Mm -hmm. So as we can see, in reality, we have quite a few things around the house that are electronics. And because they are electronic, part of the nature of the electronics is that, you know, they break down. Sometimes they have problems. They have things that uh, damage them, okay? And that's what we're gonna be looking at today. We're gonna be looking at how to describe these damages and what happens when they break down, okay? So not only do we know the word break down, which means it stops working, there are several other words that we tend to use. Okay, the first one is break down. Another word that commonly uses for talking about electronic items is crash, flicker, freeze, go dead, jam, overheat, and skip. So the first one, breakdown, is the one that I told you. This is where it stops working, okay? What about crash? What do you think is crash? It's something like a hit. Okay, all right. But remember, this is our, these are electronic items. So what could it mean when something crashes electronically? When the electronic uh, like, thing, like a uh, breakdown, like a what? Uh, like a breakdown. Like a breakdown. Okay. Okay. It's similar. Similar. Um, crash is usually that the 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 system or the file is many times is corrupt and then poof, it just disappears or it stops functioning. Okay. That's similar mm -hmm. to a breakdown. Okay. Usually the crash can be is because they are related to, for example, maybe programs or uh, online files or something like this. That's a crash. It's different than breakdown. Breakdown is physical. Maybe the fan of the refrigerator doesn't work or the car gets overheated and it stops. This is breakdown. Okay. Thanks. All right. Then we have the word flicker. Number three, what do you think could be flicker? Okay, no problem, I'll help you. Flicker is like it turns on and off, on and off. This is flicker. Like the lights. Like the lights, like the lights. It happens with lights, that's right, it flickers. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's okay. Okay. Flicker. Yes. Turn off and turn, turn off. Turn off and on. That's flicker. Mm -hmm. 
Then we have the word freeze. What do you think is the word freeze with electronics? Um, like a pause, when you pause a, a movie? Very good, yeah, it's just like pause. It's just like pause, freezes, it doesn't move. Many times it happens on the screen, it just poof, a pause. And you try to move it or touch it or do something and it doesn't work. That's the idea of freeze, okay, good. What about go dead? What could be go dead? When it doesn't turn on. Right, which is different than breakdown because breakdown doesn't function. Go dead is that it doesn't turn on, right? Well, it's, specifically, it's, not working. it's not working anymore. Well, maybe it's working, but like think about like a cell phone. It's like- oh, When the, the battery, uh, it, it's, it's ended. Correct. That's when you would say go dead. For example, the battery ends. The battery yeah. died. That's what the idea, go dead. But the phone still works, but the battery in that moment is no more. Okay. okay. What about with jam? What could be jam? Okay. Jam is where the th object does not move, it is stuck. That means, for example, maybe the refrigerator door, maybe the, the, mm. the keyboard on the computer is jammed. That means it's stuck, it does not move, it's in that one position. Okay. It's okay, Jam? Yeah. Could you repeat again to church about yes. the jam, please? Yes, jam is that it does not move. So the the jam, for maybe as an example, in a door, if the door is jam, is it does not open or close. It is in that position. If it's for a keyboard, that means the keyboard is pushed. For example, the keyboard is pushed down, and it doesn't move. It doesn't allow you to to stop, it just goes is jammed. And may I use this word uh, in this example? My mouse is it's not clicking anymore because it is jammed. Correct. And that means that the mouse is pushed down and it doesn't allow, it doesn't go back, for example. It's in that, okay. one, it's in that one position. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Then we have the word overheat. Any idea what is overheat? When the temperature go high. Correct, correct. That's when the temperature goes high. Many times they say like for computers, you have to be careful or cars or things like this because they overheat, they go high. The they cell phone. High. The cell phone, the cell phone can go very hot as well. That's right, that's overheat, okay? Okay. Then we have the skip, okay? What is a skip? And when goes through? Actually, skip is when it jumps. So as, okay. as an example, if you skip a song, is you do not listen to that song. You go to that next song, that skip. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay, skip? Yeah. Okay. What happened with the skip t-shirt? Skip, <laughs> no problem, mommy. Skip is when it goes from one and then it jumps and goes to the next one. It doesn't stop where it's supposed to. So like when you're listening to, or when you're watching a movie or, an, uh, or a season, for example, on TV and Netflix, you're watching a series and then the next episode, you don't see. It goes to the, to the next one, this is skip. So if I'm number one, the next is number two. But if it skips, that means it goes from number one to number three. Okay, thank you, I understand. Thank okay, you. you're welcome, you're welcome, homie. Okay, so what we're going to do with our partners is we want to look at those sentences that we have. Um, let me take a picture and put it into the what's up just in case you are not working on the computer or, or you can't see it. And you want to describe those problems, okay? So what what could be the what is the problem with those different objects? And then also describe what you think would be the solution, what can be done, 
Okay, so hang on. Let me take a picture. There we go. And let me share with you so that everybody's clear. So with your partners right now, we're going to make small groups and you're gonna talk about, these words are not in order. So the words are not in order. So what you're going to do is choose the word appropriate to describe the situation, to describe the problem. And with your partners, you're going to think about what could be a solution or how could it be corrected, okay? So this is where we're going to use keeps and needs. It keeps, ta ta ta, it needs, ta ta ta. The different okay. vocabulary that we've used. Okay, if you, if you are in the computer and you want to do it on your computer or in your- Teacher, uh, yes. one question. Yes. Can you repeat the, the use of need and keep to, yeah. this, to this exercise, please? Of course, of course. So when you use needs, you are talking about the repairs. You're talking about how to correct the problem. When you use keeps, is you're talking about the problem. What is the, the mistake or what is happening? Okay, and, okay. and needs is how to fix it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Perfect. It's a skip. It's skip. Yes. It's skip. It skip. Mm -hmm. Everything. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number four, it's um, our new flat screen TV has problem. I think it's freeze. It keep freeze. What do you think? I think it's freeze. Mm -hmm. Because he was talk about screen. Okay. Can you read the number five? Do those old cell phones never work right any anymore? They overheat or I go dead. I don't know. The buttons on the remote control always stick. They keeps jam. Are Teachers, we... uh, what's the meaning of a stick? It does not move, like with a gum or uh, the the position is not changing. This is stick. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it will be they keep jam. No. Mm is is it's okay your idea francisco but the grammar is not correct remember when you use keep when you're talking about the object 
and is you're going to use ing so they keep sticking they keep uh, jamming. jamming they keep exactly okay. yes so when you talk about needs many times it needs to and then the the whatever the solution is mm -hmm. so when you describe the problem many times you're going to use keep with ing they keep jamming correct keep jamming. And the first one, my computer is driving me crazy. It keeps flicking. Mm, maybe. I'm not. Um, take a look at all of the different options. It keeps. Mm, it could be. It could be flicker. But maybe it's another one that is probably another one that would be better. Another verb that would be better. Okay. Freezing. Mm -hmm. But remember, it's it's okay. But the important is that yes, you use with ing, so it keeps flickering, mm -hmm. it keeps crashing, it keeps the i go a breaking. So always is with the ing. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. For yeah. remember, remember ah. Uh. Okay. You're welcome. The third one. That you see the player often jumps to a broke down. Or let's see if, if, if we can use the other word with the first one. My uh -huh. computer is driving me crazy. It. I don't know. Go dead. Go dead. Because we didn't use that word. Mm hmm. And the number four, or right. new flat screen TV has problem. Maybe it's it's flicker. Flicker. Uh huh. Flicker. Okay. Well. And the number seven is breakdown. The computer is this computer screen needs to be replaced. It keeps breakdown. Uh-huh, breakdown. Or crash. Uh, I think it's crash? breakdown. Okay, breakdown. I don't know. And the last one. Uh, the answering machine never picks up any call. It calls it. It's maybe crash, crash. I don't remember what is crash. Crush it's like mm -hmm. when maybe when a car doesn't stop. Uh aha, uh -huh. but in this in this case I don't know if mm -hmm. similar. Okay. Good. You're right. Crash is like when the car doesn't stop and then you have the the contact. But mm -hmm. in here, crash is that the for example, if you have a computer um, or a cell phone and it crash, it just turns, for example, many times the, the screen turns blue or the, the, mm. the program shuts down. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the crash. In this case, we can use in, the, in, in this sentence uh, to share, the answer machine never picked up any calls. Yes. I think it crash. Yes. But, yeah, we can use, right? Correct. You can use pick up. Because yes. it does not It doesn't, doesn't answer. Continue with that. It doesn't answer, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Okay. Now, crush. And we got all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. Because the number four. Okay, were there any questions, any parts that were not clear? Okay, it's okay? Yes. Okay. Everything is okay, teacher. All right. Perfect. Anybody else? It's okay? 
Legal. Okay. Well, so again, we we just wait for um, Omi and Francisco. Okay, there they are. Perfect. Omi, did you have any questions? Not t-shirts, but don't finish the letter side. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, no problem. That's okay. The important is that even if we didn't finish, that it's clear for you the difference between when you use needs and when you use keep. And yes. okay, that's one. And the other is that it's clear how to use it with needs and keeps. Okay. Yeah, so, sure. mm -hmm. okay. okay. So the computer or the cell phone or the thing keeps, and then you're going to use ing. Keeps breaking down, keeps flickering, keeps, you know, whatever it is, jamming, whatever you want, but ing. When you use needs for the solution, it's going to be normally with the infinitive. It needs to be fixed. It needs uh, to be clean. It's also correct, remember, to say it needs cleaning. But for keep, no, we don't use the infinitive. We don't say keep to, uh, I don't know, to breaking. We only say keeps breaking or keeps, um, you know, jamming, not keeps to jam. So that's the one that's important to remember, the keeps with only ing. Teacher, in the case of jam, mm -hmm. uh, with the ing, it will be with double m. Yes, that is correct, Francisco. It is okay. with double M. Mm -hmm. um, is it clear what is jam, Francisco? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yes. okay. But it's a strange word for my vocabulary, jam, jammy. Yeah, you think about it like in the movies. In the movies when they have a gun and they shoot the gun, many times you see the gun, boom, doesn't move. It, it's stuck. They, they can't move. This is the jam. This is when they use jam. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, when you are driving or and you have a lot of cars and you cannot move, you are in a traffic jam. You are in a position where you can't move, but in this case for traffic. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, traffic not, jam. Mm -hmm. so now we're going to take a look at Let's see, where is the, the reading here? Okay, we're gonna be reading a little bit. Um, this is the, we are on 1.12 because the other exercises are listening and this is the vocabulary that we just finished, okay? 1.11 is listening, which you just listen and then you answer on your own. Here we have trading spaces, okay? We have several parts of the article, okay? And here we can see, wait, Maybe you can see better the picture there, okay? This is the idea, trading spaces. We're going to read part of it and then the other. So for example, um, let's see. Uh, Jose, you're going to read the title all the way to upset, okay? okay. Ligia, you're going to read from is to real over here, okay? okay. All right. Uh, um, uh -huh. Omi, you're going to read from said to theater. Okay. Okay. And we have Francisco is going to read from but to place. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's read together. Let me start. Training spaces. It's in the article, why do you think the show is called training spaces? How fast can a home remote, remoting project be completed? About 14, a 40 year, 40, 48 years or uh, eight hours. At least that the basis of the popular reality TV show can color, color uh, training spaces. Two set of neighbors switch 
homes for two days and decorate a single room in their neighbor's home. Board teams have the keep of a designer, a handyman, handyman and a budget uh, of a thousand dollars. At the end of the second, the second day, the house reveals the rooms to the homeowners who usually say, wow, that's great. Sometimes, however, they get upset. Uh, is this really TV realistic? Up to a point, the designers actually get videotapes of the rooms and plan out every step beforehand. Even the materials are purchased in advance. It's the same at home, one designer said. If you don't want a project, project to last for months, you need a game plan. plan. Everybody thinks training spaces is totally, totally real, real, real. But training spaces is to, totally not real. Data woman who appeared on the show is we didn't do something, something on camera, right? We have to do it again. You become an actor. So how happy are homeowners after their remodeling? Generally, the participants are, trial, are thrilled, but one couple in Portland, Oregon, hate their new room. Their comfortable but cramped and family room was transformed into a dark movie theater but you didn't see that on the show. You didn't see me crying, said Shannon Pitts. They edited it out of the show. It really was a non-functional room, said Scott Pitts. All you could do was watch TV. So they found themselves remodeling, remodeling their own space again. But even though Shannon and Scott didn't like the way their family room turned out, they will still be on the show again. Why? They loved redecorating their neighbor's place. Okay, great, thank you guys. Let's take a look at some of the vocabulary. Are there any words that you're not sure of how to pronounce it or what is the meaning? Basis, candy man and boogie. Okay, so let's start here. The first word was basis. That's right. And the basis, that means the main idea or the, the show is about. Okay. Okay. And trading spaces? is like here in the picture where um, maybe, well, not like in the picture, sorry. It's like, this is your house and this is my house. And we, go, we trade. I go to your house and you come to my house. This is the idea oh, okay. of trading spaces. Mm -hmm. Like a switch. Like a switch. Exactly like a switch. Mm -hmm. Handyman. Handyman is the person that can fix many things around the house. Usually like okay. um, uh, they fix elect electrical or uh, with water, the plumbing or with wood, like a carpenter. This is the handyman, the person that can do many repairs. Okay. I hear uh, Romy says budget. Budget. Yes, budget is the amount of money that you have. So maybe in the budget here is you have $1,000. This is the amount of money. And beforehand? Beforehand means before the activity or before the action. Similar to previous. Oh, like yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? 
Any or any other words? Homeowners. Homeowners are the people that are that own the property, not the ones that rent. They are the ones that is their house. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Any other words? Cramped. Cramped. Oh, cramped. Mm -hmm. With a T at the end, pronounced like a T. Cramped. Cramped. Mm -hmm. Right here. Cramped family room. Okay. Cramped means that it is very small. It's not a lot of space for the things. This is cramped. So sometimes when you go to a store and you feel that they have a lot of things and it's very close and you don't have space to walk, this is cramped. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other words? Uh, Pete is the the second name Sharon, right? Uh, where is it on me? Pete's channel uh, after the channel I think is the the second name. Uh, no, it's on the right over here. Mm, the the strophe three. One, two, three. Shannon Pitts. Yes, that's right. That's right. You're right. Shannon Pitts is the last name, like Martinez. Okay. Teacher. Yes? What is the right way to say? For purchase, I think. Purchase. 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 Right here? With purchased exactly exactly okay okay even the even material, material are purchased purchased mm -hmm. that's correct yeah. it's, it's other way to say seller no it's other way to say buy buy oh buy mm -hmm. so if you purchase something you bought something this is like buy okay Is that okay for everyone? For me, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Okay, great. So what, what do you think? Would you like to participate in an activity like that uh, or, or a show like that where you trade places? <laughs> I, I, I think I can't. <laughs> no. Really, no, because uh, I really... Uh, ordinary my, my room all all my stuff i i don't like the other person touch it <laughs> like, you can imagine the people touch my my, my stuff and, and, and all all my things yeah they touch and they decorate everything and change everything <laughs> no 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 not for you okay <laughs> all right that's it no problem i, I think i am I'm, I'm delicate okay hold up yeah no, if you you like the things in your room in a specific way, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Ligia, Francisco, or Omi, what about you guys? I have the same problem of Jose. Even the charger, <laughs> I, I don't like it. My TV, my stuff, my guitar, I don't like it. Let anyone <laughs> touch it. Yeah. I like, like, uh, uh, how do you say it? Yeah. That my room doesn't have many things. Okay, all right. And do you like specific where you put and that's it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right, okay. Omi or Ligia, how about you? 
My room is in, or in order. <laughs> it's in, in the correct uh, spaces. <laughs> okay, you don't want anybody to move anything? No, teacher, I don't like the disorder. Okay, okay, all right. And you, Ligia? Mm, I like to order my things, but I don't know, for maybe for, uh, for the, uh, I don't know, adventure or something like that, I can, we, we can uh, uh, participate in, in that program, <laughs> only for the, <laughs> the, I don't know, adventure or something like that. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Something new, right? Some try something, something new. new. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Great. Remember that from that reading, you still need to answer the questions in 1.12. Okay. So the questions are true, false, or not given. How do you know the difference when it's not given is if it's true is because you can see the information. If it's false is because you see the information is incorrect. If it's not given, it's because you cannot see. Maybe you only assume, but you do not identify where it says this is the answer or this is the correct. That's when it's going to be not given. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Well, in that case, then have a great weekend and I'll see you guys on Monday. We'll see you on Monday, Mr. Elliot. Thank you. Good night. Good to see you guys. Good to Take see you guys. Care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.